Oh god! Oh my god! Why, 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 why? Welcome everyone to another F123 driver career mode video. I am going to choose where I go here. I don't know what team... Oh, I don't know what's going on here. Um, I really don't know. Um, let me see, like, does Red Bull... Okay, I can go to Red Bull, apparently. I can choose a teammate of either Sergio Perez or Max Verstappen. There is really no limit by the looks of it. That is a shame. I was expecting some kind of performance review and showing me that I am, like, capable of A, B, or C teams. Uh, but no, it seems like I can jump in any single one. So F2 is absolutely useless in the end. I'm thinking, um, I haven't given some of these teams a fair shot. I am thinking maybe I'll go to Scuderia Alpha Tauri, the worst car on the grid, and I will replace Nick DeVries. So my teammate will be Yuki Tsunoda for this save. So we're going to start off with the worst team. They need a new driver. Instead of Nick DeVries, they signed me. That's the rhetoric I'm going for. I haven't driven with Alpha Tauri in a long time, so I really want to go back to this team. I was thinking of going to them in F122, but... I think this is a good team to go to to start things off because Alpha Tauri are struggling, but I think I can really drive well and try to you know fight some for fight for some points. So there we go. Officially starting the season with 23 races, uh, all of them pretty much. So yeah, let's do that. 23. Oh, okay, we're good. All right, so welcome to Team HQ. Um, Welcome to the team. Franz Tost has given us an email. Between yourself and Yuki, I'm sure you, we ha we can have a fantastic season. My door's always open if you need anything. And then Ali with a lot of the facility stuff, which I have no control over. It's all the team. And also R&D will be team regulated. So I have no input at all in it, which seems realistic, you know. We are fairly far back, but I'm hoping for a good run in Bahrain, of course. We can tire allocation, I don't care. Um, perks, we gotta work on perks. Uh, perk fund is 300k. Let me go on power mapping, which is 230k. It's always nice to have uh, good tires, essentially. Uh, market value has gone up 70 or 25k. It was 50k before going into that. Now I'm 75k with the power mapping perk on. So. My market value is going up. I am super cheap right now. That is a little stupid, I'd say, because I'm an F2 champion. I feel like I should be valued at a higher level if I am an F2 champion. Um, rivalries, I know. Driver, well, teams joined one. There we go. You'll love to see it. Well, here we go then. It's Alpha Tauri time. Season objectives. You'll have to show some patience for the first part of the season as we expect our initial pace to be towards the back of the grid. But don't worry. Everyone's working hard so we have great investment in the team. As long as you do your bit, we should be able to move towards the middle of the pack over the course of the year. Okay, that is expected. So let's head on closer to the Bahrain Grand Prix, the season opener. We do have two upgrades expected. And yes, they are on the car. We're still back of the grid behind McLaren, which is a shame. We do have another aerodynamic upgrade, a minor one in the works, coming in May, uh, March 16th. So that is good to see. Well, let's just jump into it then. Time for the race weekend. Let's see how well we perform here in Bahrain for our first time ever out in an F1 car. Welcome to the team. I'm Ollie. I'm the team's head of r and I'm here to help you deliver the results the team expects do that and I'm sure we'll get on great. <laughs> uh, your workstation's all set up and ready to go. Don't let us down. Hello and welcome back finally to the hustle and bustle of Formula One. The F1 2023 World Championship is about to get underway. We cannot wait to get started. Last season saw the biggest raft of regulation changes in years and we're excited to see more of that wheel-to-wheel -wheel racing. The big question is though, can anyone challenge the dominance of Max Verstappen and Red Bull? Well, all the teams have been working so hard to get ahead in the development race, looking not only at their own car, but those of their competitors. Thousands of engineers working hard back at the factory. We come to the racetrack and we focus on the 20 drivers at the pinnacle of motorsport. But it's 
important to remember this is very much a team game and watching that technical battle unfold throughout the year will be fascinating as everyone looks to get to grips with these new regulations. Meanwhile, the F1 World Tour features all the classic highlights. Monaco, Silverstone, Singapore. Great to see all those iconic tracks back, but also a few surprises. Qatar is back after a year away and the inaugural Las Vegas Grand Prix. The glitz and glamour of Vegas flat out down the world famous strip. I know all the drivers have been so excited about this one ever since it was announced. Okay, that is enough from me. Let's get cracking with the action. Getting a little press interview there, but what was that intro as well? We got Natalie Pinkham introducing the new season with Qatar and uh, Las Vegas joining the grid. And yeah, that's a very new kind of introduction to the series. And also, did you look at the motorhouse of AlphaTauri? Like, it looks clean. They improved it from the last game. So yeah, I really love the new re uh, designs there. But without further ado, welcome to the qualifying session. Um, First time in an F1 car, feeling quite confident there as Nico Hülkenberg already out on track. Only one out there, Logan Sargent preparing to release by the looks of it. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's try and set a decent lap here. I think I'm going to use at least two of these soft tires in this session to try and get ourselves out of Q1. Right now, the car is the slowest on the grid, lo lowest performing car on the grid. We did get some aerodynamic upgrades, which are huge uh, around uh, Bahrain, of course, because we got that long straight down the back end and also uh, the sides have long straight. So we really want to make use of those before we hit those medium to slow corners. Uh, yeah, so let's head on out there, see where our banker is and then uh, take it from there. All right, I think I'm coming up to the line here with a decent lap time. Let's see if this is any good. I think the final turn I can polish up a little bit more. DRS wide open, P2. I'm sorry, what? Where did that pace come from? I'm running 100 AI. Where did that pace come from, from the Alpha Terry? All right. <laughs> well, by the end of it, we are in P7. That was one lamp done. 131.0. Wow. Almost 131.1, to be honest. But faster than Alonso as well. My goodness. Yuki Tsunoda did decent as well. I'm six tenths faster than him. Logan Sargent at the back with Magnussen Hülkenberg. Piastri also out. So, moving on to Q2 already. Wow. All right. A massive dub to be in Q2 already. But let's see if we can get into Q3. Oh, Verstappen did something. I think he slipped or something. He's compromised his lap time. P6. What a result. P6 right now. Ladies and gents, what is going on? I need to bump up the difficulty more then. I have no idea what. If you guys are new to the channel, which I might assume some of you are because this is going to be the first episode of the F1 portion of Driver Career Mode Series. First off, welcome. And two, I just took off the racing lines, the assist recently um so i've dropped my ai I usually drive 110 but without the racing lines i'm still unsure about breaking points and whatnot so i dropped it down to 100 initially 95 now 100 and this is what's happening my goodness we need to bump up the difficulty more than we'll see and just like that is p7 ladies and gents i improved on my p or q1 lab 130.9 now it's 131.0 so yeah, we're through to the final round of qualifying. The shootout, Bottas, Joe, Stroll, Gazi, and Albon are out. Um, I guess I'll bump up the difficulty when we head into the race because my gosh, this Alpha Tower should not be here unless Breaking Point was not wrong in putting De Vries in P1 for the Brazilian Grand Prix and some of the other scenarios that we were given. So quite mad, <laughs> quite mad indeed. Wow, look at the pace. Look at the pace. Come on, give me a good final turn. Improved by about 1.5 seconds, ladies and gents. 1.5 seconds. Where does that put us? Let's see. P5. Let's go. <laughs> wow. Absolute scuffed qualifying. 
<laughs> don't worry guys, I just got the Red Bull car and repainted the livery to be an Alpha Tauri. So don't worry, it is actually a Red Bull, so I am actually very bad. Perez and Verstappen beat me to across the line there. But yeah, in any case, I'm gonna bump up the difficulty for the race itself. But we're starting P5, what is this? I don't know. But yeah, I'm feeling confident guys, feeling very, very confident around Bahrain. Let's have a great start to the season. Hope you guys are enjoying the video. If you are, there are a couple things you can do to support the channel. First off, press that like button and subscribe. Make sure you subscribe by pressing the red button down below and hit the notification bell as well so you're notified as soon as I upload next. Thank you guys so much for your support. Hope you enjoyed the rest of the video. Months of rumor and speculation all come to an end today as we return to racing for the opening event of what promises to be an enthralling season. Welcome along then to round one of this year's Formula One World Championship. We'll be racing around 3.36 miles of the magnificent Bahrain International Circuit today. Keep an eye out for drivers locking the front left down into the tricky braking zone of turn 10. It's time to take a look at our starting grid for today's race. It's Carlos Sainz in pole position, edging out Sergio Perez, who lines up P2. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Leclerc, Verstappen, the rookie, Hamilton, Russell, Norris, Fernando Alonso, Ocon, Albon, Gasly, Stroll, Joe, Bottas, Sonoda, Oscar Piastri, Hulkenberg, Magnussen and Logan Sargent. That's it then, it's time to go racing as we head down trackside for today's race. A new season then, a clean slate where anything could happen. Anthony Davidson is with me today as once again we get another year of Formula One underway. We're into those tense few minutes before the first race then. Everyone's a little bit nervous about reliability. They haven't been running in the hot, turbulent wake of other cars in practice. And they've not been pushing at 100% for long durations. Let's hope no one has to deal with any nasty surprises. Let me cook. Well, let me just show you guys the settings. Uh, career settings, is that... Does that show difficulty? Oh no, it does not show difficulty. Well, anyway, let's jump into it. 102 AI now. Um, one thing that I have kind of heard in the in the back of the uh, garage, so to say, is that two stops are a thing because fresh tires are so OP compared to used tires that two stops might be a OP strategy. As you can see, 46 minute running time. Uh, if we were to remove this stint and do a one stop of a soft, ooh, we can do a soft medium stint around here. Okay, it's already a possibility. It's only a 10 second difference. And that 10 seconds isn't a lot because we can make up for it with those two stops or with those two fresh set runs. So we'll see. Um, I'm not going to touch the fuel too much because I don't know. I, I can't gauge what the fuel usage is like. But let's jump into this race. It's a little harder now, so I think I might lose some positions to the cars behind that are faster, but I'm feeling quite confident. Let's see how well I perform here. Here we go then. The formation lap is underway and the track temperature looks warm. That may or may not play into some of the team's hands in today's race. to line up for the start of the race. Each driver will be wanting to get the best start they possibly can. And they'll be hoping to finish today's race on the podium, failing that within the points. All right, here we go then. Let's start this race. Lights out and away we go. Classic Ferrari making mistakes there. Poor start from Leclerc. Someone's on my inside, gonna leave space. Let me cook, let me cook. P2, let's go. AI is having horrible starts. It's also one thing I noticed from the F2 season, of course. F2 season, they were struggling with the start. Oh wow, look at signs run away with it. 
He is pacey, man. I don't think there's much I can do to catch up to him. My car is too bad. And that's not helping. I can't get that turn right yet. Turn 9, 10 is a nightmare for me right now. Uh, I might concede to Pettis. Well, that's good because I'm going to try and stay close to him and try to get that DRS. I can take that flat out now too. It's just nice. Oh god. Oh god, come on. Stay close to Paris. That was a mistake. <laughs> no. Now it's more like racing. Thank you. As soon as the AI gets into shape. Oh god, it went wide. So 9, 10 and then the last corner are problematic for me. Yep, I'm getting swallowed up by the grid here. I'm not going to use up too much ERS. Oh my god, Leclerc and... I'm not going to get involved there. Alright, here comes the ultimate DRS from Red Bull. Look at him go. No way I'm fighting that, man. No way. But at least I get a dose of DRS here. Oh, in the slipstream over Verstappen as well. Wow, fighting for Stappen here. What? Is 102 also still too easy? Whoa, look at that battle. Best battle yet, I think. Switchback? Oh, Verstappen nearly lost it there. DRS, let's go. What a lovely battle I'm having with Max Verstappen here. Yes. Wow. That was good fun. But I think I'm going to lose position to Verstappen. Maybe more if I'm not careful because Leclerc is caught up. I have DRS again. Verstappen has given me DRS again. Lovely jubbly. Simply lovely. You'll love to see it. He's going to get swallowed up by Leclerc and Russell. My god, look at them go. Oh, I hear clashing behind. Oh, I lost out to Leclerc now. Oh, sliding it through those gaps. Arrington Senna says so. Go for the gap, always. Alright, I'm expecting these guys to be on a one-stop. Medium to hard. Losing a lot of time because I was battling these guys. To the cars ahead. Head down. Let's recharge. And get ready to push again, Russell. I have no break, man. They're not giving me a break. Okay, Russell. Gonna try and stay close to him to get that DRS. Gonna let him... Drag me along, please. Oh, I did a neutral thing again. The DRS is mad fast. Oh god! Oh my god! Why? Why, 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 why? What happened there? I must know, I must know. Oh my god, Leclerc pinched Russell. And then he collided with me. How I did not take bodywork damage, I do not know. Jesus Christ. What the heck is that? Dang. 
The clear pinched him. I clinched. I pinched him too. Jeez. Vehicle condition. No need to worry about the tire condition for now. Everything's looking good. All right. Well, Alonso and Leclerc benefited from that. Ah, Russell's gonna get past here as well. But I should have the DRS here. Oh, I'm slowly slowing down. The mediums are dead right now, I think. Oh my god. That was an abrupt move from me. Yep. Mediums are done, guys. Mediums are done. Absolutely cut that corner. Oops. Why are the mediums so done already? I don't know where I'm losing grip from. I don't want... Oh my god. I did not want them to wrestle treatment. Oh no, Verstappen, that's a safety car. That's a safety car if I ever saw one. Yep. Nice. Damage. What damage? Do I have damage? Copy. Vehicle condition. Tire condition still looking good. Yeah, no damage. What are you talking about, buddy? Okay, Russell's also coming in. Okay, are every is everyone coming in? Oh my god, everyone's coming in for a stop. We're holding up the Ferrari. Ferrari got screwed. Oh, please tell me I get a good stop. Williams is coming in as well. My teammate's coming in as well. Oh. Uh, Got it held up a little bit, not much. Okay, I'll take that. What is our net position? P8 right now? Some people haven't pitted. That's also a thing. Alright, so it looks like Alonso and Hamilton and Gasly have not pit yet. Sainz has, still needs to pit one more time. I believe Sergio Perez will pit one more time as well from those mediums. The Clare needs to pit one more time and Russell as well. So everyone needs to pit at least one more time. That looks good. We're in decent position then. Oh, Gasly goes in. Gasly's going in. He's pitting for, I guess, another set of mediums, maybe? Alright, safety car is coming in, apparently. Tires are pretty toasty, except for the carcass temperature. Carcass temperature and the temperature within the tire have different degradation levels, which is more realistic, I think. So, that's good to see. By now, if I was just coasting, I would have lost so much tire temp. Oh, let's see. What does Alonzo do? Hamilton pits. Mad lad. Five second time penalty for Hamilton. Penalty for Argentina. No, just kidding. Okay. I did the neutral thing again. Leclerc should have more grip than me because he's on the sauce here. Bunch of these guys ahead are on the softs. Oh my god, look at that speed from Georgie Russell. I mean, he is in a Mercedes, so I don't expect anything less. Let's go. Oh boy, look at Perez go, man. He's going for the lead there. Absolute man, lad. Got Leclerc. Oh, Alonso on very worn mediums is losing pace. That position from him, thank you very much. Hey, yo! Fastest lap, really? Where did that come from? Neutral again. I need to stop. DRS, let's go. Grazie ragazzi. DRS. Signs, I believe. Oh, Hamilton stole it from me. Ah, losing out to Pettis now. Poor exit out of there. Also, my tires are overheating. I've got to be careful. 
Tire management is actually quite significant in this game, by the looks of it. So we'll be cautious about how we proceed. Try to cool the tires wherever we can. And make diving moves like such. Do I have damage? No, I don't. Round the outside. See you later, mate. Ah! Oh. Water move. Water move that. Alright, I gotta let Perez do here. He's got that DRS, the Red Bull DRS. Alright, I've been using Perez to get some momentum here. Staying behind him. Alright, I think I have the DRS. And there we go, pass made. Russell and Leclerc are closing in on us, so I need to make the move. And I did. And let's go. Try to run away with it. Pettis' tires are gone. Alright, everyone's in essentially. Signs goes for the hards. Interesting choice. Possibly because they have no soft tires left. I got two. Let's go. That's called smart qualifying management. Let's see if the car has the pace then. I gotta pit this lap actually. I can. Where are we stopping? Box box, pick confirm, box box. Confirm. Here we go. Onto the sauce. Are we gonna release P3-ish maybe ahead of the Mercedes and Perez battle? Let's see. Give me a good stop, boys. 2.3! Marvelous! Come on, get me out. Ah, uh, P6, P7. Oh yes, much stronger tires. Everyone's on the hards. Master strategist Su come into play here at Alpha Tauri. Let's go. Huge lunge on Hamilton. Let's go. Oh, this is good. Perez and Russell fighting it out. Gonna try and get it within the DRS range. I don't know if I have. No, I have not. This is bad. I gotta save us some ERS though. Oh, that's not the fastest lap. Verstappen has a much faster lap than I did. But we can get DRS for the second straight. Oh. Maybe up the inside of Russell. Yes. Soft tire grip. Amazing. Despite being held up, the Ferraris have somehow managed to be a P1, P2. Alright, this is it. We got two laps remaining. Come on, I gotta make the move stick here now. This is it, last chance before the AI gets ultimate ERS. Come on. I want this DRS. Oh, screen freeze. Oh. Slippery. What is up with the tires? My rears are going real quick.
All right, DRS, let's go. Uh oh. Uh oh. I'm three wide here. Oh, we're close. We're close. Come on, we're close. Oh, my tires are gone, man. Tires are gone. My rear end is moving like mad. Mad. But also, what's going on with my rear end? It's losing a lot of grip. And also, it wears off much faster than the front, so... I guess it has something to do with the tire pressures, maybe? Or maybe I'm shoving the rear end out a little too much? Like, look at that! Alright, give me focus, give me focus. Because I'm about to have a debut of a lifetime. Come on. Gonna save the ERS for later, gonna go on the inside line. Yes. Good defense. And then we've done it. 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 We've, done it. we've got P2 podium for Alpha Tauri on day one. Yes, great drive. Great drive. Everyone here is really happy with that performance. Well done, mate. That's it then for another spectacular Grand Prix here in Bahrain and a real champion's drive to take the win. Well, Anthony Davidson, a resounding victory today, but what set them apart from the rest? I think a large part of the result comes down to temperament. They were able to keep their heads when everyone around them is losing theirs, and that's allowed them to get the best out of the car, to maximize the strategy, and to stay out of trouble. And here we are, a team that is no stranger to the podium, taking their place on top once again. A sublime race today, and a stunning win for Ferrari. Gotta say, that was a dream start in Formula 1, but of course, Bahrain is a circuit that I really enjoy, so I think it really showed that as soon as I started get to get acclimatized with the track, I started to find pace. You can see here, my best lap time was a 132.4 on the softs, of course. Carlos Sainz, I think, only did mediums. Maybe they did a soft lap with heavy fuel, that's why he's a little slower by a couple tenths. But a lot of these cars are struggling on pace here. Look at this, 32.8, 32.7s. 33s for some of these later guys 33 5 from my teammates so yeah i really shined at the end uh with the soft tires that was a smart strategy call from me and yeah that really brought us up to p2 as i said the meta right now in this game is to do multiple stops because the fresh tires are so op so yeah we'll make use of that meta strategy signs myself russell on the podium to start things out for this season leclerc verstappen perez albon bottas norris and piastri in the points ocon alonso gazi joe sonoda magnus and sergeant hülkenberg stroll round out the finishers with hamilton did not finish he had a 127-0 which is a faster than the ea or faster than the um, esports guys. They do a 127.4 ish, I think. That's faster than the esports guys, which is unbelievable how much pace he's found. That's a glitch right there, I think. But in these standings, things should not be changing, mainly because it is identical to the classification of the Bahrain Grand Prix. Constructors wise, again, P2 ahead of Red Bull. Again, I'm saying, I just took the Red Bull car and changed delivery.
made it out of Atari. So that is a stunning result, I must say. What a start to the season. I will bump up the difficulty more, but it also depends on the circuit. Bahrain, I'm very, very, very fond of, and I've driven a lot on here. So I kind of know this track. Maybe for some other tracks, like coming off Saudi Arabia, I might keep it because I'm not that good at it because of Sector 1, for example. We'll see. I'll try to adjust it accordingly, but this was a one-off, I think. So... You know what? Fantastic start. I'll take a podium. It is what it is. 102 AI. I'm feeling good about it. So hope you guys enjoyed the video as well. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you smash that like button. Subscribe using the red button down below. Hit the notification bell as well. So you're notified as soon as I upload next. We're off to a stunning start. Let's see how far we can go in this series. Thank you guys once again for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.